welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In a previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll define load on our steel structure, and in this lecture, I'm just going to show you that how we'll assign wind load and earthquake load for our structure. So for that, I'll go ahead define the load pattern, and from here, the EQX earthquake S, and click here modify lateral load. And from here, simply I'll take uh, direct x direction plus eccentricity, and every other direction I will delete. Okay, so it's x plus eccentricity and minus eccentricity. Eccentricity, it's okay. So it's in 0 0.5. Uh, I mean, 5 percent, right? And here we have to define our value here. Actually, there are three options. So I'll uh, prefer that one, and we'll uh, define our all value here and uh, this is the for top history for seismic load for base to top it's okay and response spectrum modification then system over strength then deflection amplification then occupancy importance so here all data is available in our design code so I'll just request you just uh, as per your design code and as per your location find that find out your data Okay, here's long period, long transition period. Okay, I'll just consider that is one, and uh, here, actually S one. This is nothing but our seismic zone coefficient S one, and S S. That is nothing but one point five time of our that seismic zone coefficient, right? So for that, I'll simply give here. Actually, so for my zone, if I give as zero point two. And it's 0 0.3. This is the data. And site class. Here is the site class. So if your site class is not automate, automatic, you can uh, select that. Then you can select F. And from here, you can give your FA and FB site coefficient here. So I'll just select B site coefficient. Uh, okay. So calculated coefficient here. All data have calculated per, uh, automatically as per design. So in this way just you can define your seismic data right actually uh, when you're I'm just doing that very fast because in our some lecture I have created almost five lecture about full understanding of wind load work by using Excel sheet how we'll uh, find out our wind load from Excel sheet and how we'll import that data in our structure I have different everything actually there so that link are also given in description and I will just request to please watch that lecture and your all confusion will be clear very clear and you'll be able to find out your earthquake load or anything from excel sheet and also you'll be able to use that in here perfectly and I have created some section like um, how can we define load I mean how can we find out the specific load what are required here right so I'll just take us to please go there and I mean go to the given link and try to work with seismic loading perfectly okay so then okay when done then I'll go for Y direction and then I'll go modify lateral load then all will be a stop and this is y plus y minus it is 2.5 and every error is okay and i'll not change anything you will change anything as per your requirement and already have told you that uh please go to your go to the given link uh, the uh, given link for earthquake at create a playlist and they have uh, almost six video and from there you will be able to understand what uh, will load analysis perfectly Okay, it's done and section is B side class is B okay it's done then click OK and then after that for wind okay for wind load then I'll go from uh, modify lateral and they have two options exposure from frame or shell so you use if you use that option then you have to give you have to define many things so this is very difficult I'll simply take exposure from extended or diaphragm so here we have to give the windward and leeward data and you can also select the program determined or you can use a defined it's up to you 
and here it's 15% uh, 50% is intensity and wall everything is okay and the wind direction okay so for um, x wind direction it should be zero okay it is zero right then okay and here wall data is, is available so you, you can select any or create wall site okay now uh, here the basic wind speed then exposure type uh, vcd in our country it's avc so i'll select v and topographical factor it's uh, actually this all data are available in our uh, structure so i'll take from top uh, s3 to base so uh, in our reinforcement structure i mean our concrete structure we do not use base we use from s3 one cause our base are under soil but for our steel structure now our base is not under soil that's it from beds to and here we can use parapet i can use uh three feet parapet in our i mean here every side of our structure so it's done then okay after that for y the one modify so everything is okay actually this program calculated what we have done in previous for wind lateral this is not program calculated 0 0.8 0 0.5 then i'll just select that lateral it's 0 0.8 0 0.5 uh, it's okay and here we'll modify something it's 0. Point, i mean 90 degree all right then okay okay and it's 80 everything is of uh, same as our previous selection so i have and also i have created some excel file and also have uh, created i have shown you how we'll work with earthquake lo I, I mean wind load with edaps so that uh, excel sheet also with the work procedure uh, i have created some video that link are also given in description so i'll request to please watch that and it will be very clear to you about wind load analysis concept so here base 3 i'll consider 3 feet parapet so everything is okay um okay now simply click okay so just if i go here and modify lateral load and if i go here the direction and with they have no data here actually so why they have no data because we do not provide any diaphragm actually at now that's why so i'll click okay then i'll click okay so we have defined our wall load wind load live load everything then i'll simply click ok after that we have to define our diaphragm for that i will select our that top story uh sorry skip i will select one story we have to define diaphragm one by one so select first story uh, for slab also you can slab select that one and that one after that go here assign then shell then diaphragm and here diaphragm one actually the one is perfect this is rigid d1 okay then okay then simply click apply so here is our diaphragm position of a diaphragm then go the next follower simply select that one that one and that one and apply diaphragm and go to next one select oh, sorry select that one that slab that slab and that slab then click apply so it's okay right it's okay so when we have uh, defined our all diaphragm and the for bottom there no need of defining diaphragm when it's okay right so now if we go here define uh, load pattern we load okay and then here okay now exposure set now see here uh, it's okay now it's automatically calculated software automatically calculated okay then okay now if we go for that lateral load modify it's not okay actually uh, it's calculated uh, it's already data taken so from here if you select that one that already taken from here then okay then okay so it's done so we have successfully defined all of our load we have defined all of our loads so from next lecture we'll go for analysis and design so thank you thank you very much still is connected till next video and if you think that that is helpful for you then subscribe to our channel and also like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment how was that so thank you thank you very much